How's it going, folks? Uh, I figured since there was such a good response over the case video, we'll do uh, do another one because I do have another little chore for it here, and uh, you know she's ready to go from that last video. Uh, this has been what two days since that, and uh, we got my bus saw uh, hidden in the trailer under this tarp, so I'll have to dig it out and get this tarp off of it. But uh, why don't you guys ride along with me and we'll uh, we'll yank this out with the old loader. All right, stay tuned. Alrighty. So if you guys didn't see my last video, this here is a 1950 Case Model S uh, tractor, uh, four-cylinder gas motor. Uh, forget the exact size of it. It's not a lot. It's like a 20 horsepower motor, and I got a 51 over there as a parts donor. But uh, yeah, this old girl's like a neat little workhorse around here. Uh, it's got this big old hydraulic pump that runs that Freeman loader on the front there. Uh, I got my aftermarket custom golf ball shifter knob. Um, that's your uh, clutching gauge here. There's this uh, little hand lever and it uh, has a little paddy poo down on the pulley. You can see. And it's kind of like the old John Deere setup. Uh, but anyways, enough about the tractor. Let's get her running and warming up and then I'll get to digging out the buzz saw. We can, we can live that out, or lift that out there and have a look at that. Uh, oh, this thing she fires up pretty simply. I don't know that we'll need any choke, so we'll just give her a go. Oh, that darn starter. Okay, a couple things you can do when your Bendix is funny like that. You can put it in gear and rock the thing, which is kind of hard to do in the winter when she's in a bit of a rut. Or you can just put your crank crank in there and just give that a wiggle, and sometimes that'll knock it loose. So let's see if we did it. Hey, whoa. Maybe she will need some choke. using the choke on it, uh, but, you know, it's cold, so, hey, uh, let's let this warm up and uh, I'll go dig out that buzz saw. So, I went ahead and I took the liberty of just hand bombing that out of the trailer. These things really aren't too heavy and if you maneuver them correctly, it's not too bad. Especially with the snow being as high as it is, I can, uh, I can do that easy enough. Just so I, uh, it'll just be easier to hook up to the loader this way. So, anyways, let me just grab us a set of chains and we'll get this thing over here.
how's it going, folks? Uh, like I said, I'm no expert on bus saws. This is my first one. Um, so uh, you'll see me just kind of go back and forth here very, very carefully putting this thing down because I'm just uh, trying not to damage anything because I don't want any more headache than I already have to deal with. So, yeah, this, uh, this is just me going back and forth and making sure that, uh, you know, I'm not squishing anything and it's just sitting down proper. So. Okay, she's back here. She's out of the trailer. Well, as you can see, I gotta do some restoration of the fence here, as this one's all rotten, and I'm supposing that all the moving around has done, uh, hasn't done it any good. Uh, and I'm supposing it's gonna need a grease up and everything, and uh, I'll check out uh, uh, how to sharpen it. There's a, a very kind fellow on YouTube there that uh, I quite enjoy his buzz uh, videos, so. I think he's got one on uh, on sharpening, so I might post a link to that. His name's Tractor Man 44, and go check him out. He's a really cool guy, uh, and he's got some really cool buzzsaw videos. I'm just a buzzsaw rookie, you know. I uh, I'm still learning here. This is my first one, so you can see that uh, this has been put on for running a small engine. But we're not going to do that. Uh, plan's going to be to run it with the uh, the Massey Harris 44 under the tarp there. But uh, yeah, that's her. <laughs> that's uh, old and rusty. And we're gonna have to do some uh, some patching up on it and everything, and and uh, get it all ready to roll. So, uh, Wendell, if you're watching this, uh, if you see anything I need to do, feel free to let me know because uh, I know she's in rough shape, but I'd like to get it going. Anyways, till next time, take her easy, be safe.